Hi everybody, Lars Christensen here, part of Autodesk Technical Marketing Team. Let's do a couple of quick inventor tips. Let's talk about some sketching tips if you are new to um, Inventor. So if you look at my screen here, I got a fairly simple sketch. And I think if I should give the first tip away is if you're new to, uh, to Inventor, keep your sketches simple. Don't put everything into one sketch, but create a sketch, extrude it, create another sketch, cut, you know, so don't, don't make things overly complicated. So tip number one is when you're sketching inside of Inventor, keep your sketches simple and then build on them. Um, another thing is that when we have these sketches, um, the first thing you want to apply is your constraints and then your dimensions. So that's another little quick tip here. Now, one of the things that, you know, I think is important to know when it comes to constraints, because they're kind of like the glue in our sketches, there is up here a constraint setting. So you can definitely, you know, experiment a little bit in here with how Autodesk handles the constraints. But the one thing I like to show is uh, this setting down here in the bottom, uh, and that will turn your constraints on and on, on and off in the screen. You can also do that with an F8 to turn it on and F9 to turn it off. But it's just kind of nice when you're working inside of Inventor that you can kind of like turn these on or off depending on if things get a little crowded. Now, in a previous uh, quick tip, I showed how you could kind of like customize um, the look of your part. And one of the things I did was change the background color. Now you will see here that I got this presentation background. And one of the things um, that is pretty neat about Inventor is that depending on what background you have, that will show the sketch is different because Inventor gives you some great feedback um, when it comes to in this sketching environment, depending on constraining our sketches, we're removing these degrees of freedom, right, to make the sketches flexible um, or tie them down, depending on what we want. So depending on what background color you have, that actually determines um, how that displays. So let me show you where you can change that. Maybe you, 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 if you're brand new, you're probably using the window background, but maybe you're sitting at somebody else's, uh, have taken over somebody else's seat of inventor, and they have maybe customized things. So you go up to tools, and in here you can go into application settings. In here you have the color, and uh, there is some different options in here. Play around with it. The window uh, um, night is the default and that is probably actually if you're a new user probably the one I would recommend you to use you will see kind of like how it pops up with colors here so the neon green hello 80s uh, theme here um, shows you uh, what still needs to be to be uh, constrained and the dark blue shows you what have all been tied down so it's pretty cool that the software gives you uh, this feedback with the background color you will see here that if I delete this uh, five millimeter dimension, that uh, then everything turns green. And if I apply it again, um, you will see that now it turns blue. So that will give you that feedback. Good stuff to, to know. Another trick uh, that is pretty neat about Inventor, uh, when you are uh, putting your, your constraints and your dimensions on, like I said before, we are kind of like getting rid of the, free, the degrees of freedom. You can actually, if you highlight your sketch, and you right click in here, there's an option called display degrees of freedom. Now that one is pretty neat. When you turn that on, it will actually show you in the sketch where things can still move. Um, and you can of course right click and turn it off again. Now, what is neat is you can also just window select certain portions and turn this function on and off because um, you know sometimes you want to just concentrate on one certain area. So some neat things. Now while I'm in my right click, I definitely have to show you the sketch doctor. Um, this is a, an option that I think that many people kind of like miss uh, out on. What the sketch doctor is great at is that if you have a sketch and uh, you maybe have an issue extruding it out, something is just not right. Um, you know, many times it's just sketch that has an issue with it. So you can right click, select sketch doctor, and when you select it, it will take you through this menu um, where you can just kind of like uh, diagnose what is happening with your sketch. And you will see here that uh, I have down in the lower uh, left corner here, I have a little highlight and somebody uh, must have created a little sketch geometry we don't need. Uh, and you have some different options in here. So you can you can right click and then you can... Uh, uh, you can go in and edit it and I can just get rid of this sketch entity because I don't really, really need it. 
Now, another thing that comes that that many people are missing that is sitting right there down here in the lower left, um, it actually sh Inventor actually shows you uh, dimensions that is still needed to fully define uh, your scats. This is an option that that is really cool. So you will see here that if I apply another dimension, the count exit goes down. So Inventor is giving you this kind of feedback uh, to do that. Now, um, the last function I want to show you in here is. Uh, this function up here called automatic dimension and constraints. So if you are at the point where you know you cannot really figuring out what other dimensions or constraints you need in your sketch, you maybe try to drag the corners around, uh, then you can hit this automatic dimension and constraints option, and it will actually apply um, uh, the dimensions constraints for you. So you will see here that I get a a, a radius that I was missing here. Now you will also see in here that I have an extra dimension up here that you might questioning uh, where that is coming from. That's just another tip. Um, I actually have a construction line right here in the center and that's what uh, Inventor is mentioning too. The reason that I have that construction line is because when I model up uh, this outer uh, bump here, I actually used the mirror command over up on the sketch menu up here. Don't forget about these great options up here. You know, there's no, you know, you can be lazy when you're working in CAD. So, so this is a little trick that you don't have to draw everything twice. You can use something like the mirror function. Hey, I hope that uh, you enjoyed these uh, quick tips here. If you're new to uh, sketching inside of Inventor, um, and um, hey, until the next time, you have an awesome, awesome 3D day.